The Zuma Ahmed IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at Westfields today for the White Park of Public Workouts. I'm joined by Frank Biglione. Looking forward to getting back in the ring, uh, Frank? Yeah, I can't wait for my Yeah, it's been, uh, it feels like it's been a while, but um, I've, I've, I've been in the gym, I've been ticking over, I've been learning, and um, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready to go now. Um, obviously, I spoke to you a few weeks ago, um, talked about sort of your frame of mind. Um, you feel like you only need really one fight and then you can get back into them big fights. Yeah, I'll stick by that as well. Um, I've had good quality sparring. I haven't really lost anything in terms of, of sharpness or there's no there's no demons there. So, as I say, get this fight more, more for, the, for the public to kind of get my name back in the mix than for myself. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be looking at a big fight end of the year. Yeah, looking for the sort of names like Anthony Yard, Callum Johnson, them sort of names. Do you want to put yourself back in there? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Say, I, I genuinely feel I'm the best in the country. Um, Callum Johnson, he obviously beat me, so you got to put him above me. Um, but should that fight happen again, should the rematch happen, then I'm confident I beat him. Is there a bit of extra motivation this time? Because people might sort of be writing you off. Do you know what? I don't really worry too much about what people think of me. I, I've got confidence in my own ability. Um, I know what I've achieved. I know how I've performed in the gym when most people don't see it. So, um, yeah, the, the people around me that I trust and that I respect their opinions, they're the people that, that matter. So, um, yeah, they can write me off all they want. Yeah. Obviously, you, you've had defeats before to, to Tudino, for example, and you've come back, um, won the British title, etc. So, it's not a new thing for you. So, do you think that helps you slightly? Whether if you're just undefeated coming back now a yeah. bit tougher I've been beat by I mean the Kaminsky fight was a fight I should have won probably a little bit too early so I kind of I'll dismiss that but Tudinov and Callum Johnson both undefeated fighters Tudinov was world champion Callum Johnson was a champion both very good fighters so there's no there's no real shame in, in losing to those sort of uh, caliber of guys but that being said I, I certainly feel that oh, I wasn't out of my depth and there was, there was potential to beat both of those guys but the uh, it's all about timing and uh, I'm coming back. All right, Frank, I know it's exit here. We'll catch up with you in fight week. Um, but yeah, best of luck on Saturday. I'm sure we'll catch up in the fight week. I'm watching Dave Allen dance out of the, uh, <laughs> out of the corner. <laughs> Top man, Frank. Thanks all the time.